Hey everybody, welcome back again to Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy, where today the truth is in the singing. It's normally the proof is in the singing. Uh, it should be actually in the artistry. And I'm gonna do the top 25 Spotify best songs of 2021. Uh, I'm actually just gonna do the top 10. And then I'm also gonna do the top 10 rock songs, best rock songs of 2021. Now there's best songs and then best rock songs. Now I've made a little montage of just the choruses and I'm gonna play them back to back in a minute. But I wanna talk to you guys about something and I want you to weigh in on the comment section. I don't wanna be the only guy sitting out here naked in December snow voicing my opinion and I know that my opinion is not necessarily your opinion and we can agree to disagree. So a lot of people say, you know, hey Ken, I see you posting a lot of stuff and you know, sometimes you bag on new music, blah, blah, blah. Well, I actually don't. I'm a really positive guy and I'm really careful not to do that. I always see, um, also try to find value or you know, something good in it because I'm, like I said, I'm a positive person. I really, if someone likes something Thing. I want to know why, even if I don't like it, and so forth. So, but I have to weigh in on this right now, guys, because it's just driving me nuts. Um, the first thing is, is I want to talk about what I feel is lacking, and I also want to juxtapose this to just a few songs from the 70s, a few songs from the 80s, a few songs from the 90s. We're going to talk about that in a minute. So I want to read off to you what, in succession, these are in order. You can go to Spotify, check this out. So these are the best 25 songs of 2021. I'm just gonna list off the top 10. First one is Stay with Justin Bieber. The second one is A, B, C, D, E, F, U by Gail. Uh, next one is Easy On Me by Adele. Uh, Shivers by Ed Sheeran. Industry Baby featuring Jack Harlow with Little Ass. Uh, Heat Waves, which is Glass Animals. Uh, Cold Heart, which is P-N-A-U. It's a remix um, actually with Elton John and Dua Lipa, pretty cool. Um, a Woman, which is Doja Cat, uh, Enemy End with J.I.D. from the series Arcane Leagues of Legends, um, which is Imagine Dragons, and then I Hate You S.Z.A. Now there was another Ed Sheeran's tune in there, but I put the I Hate You one, it was 11, and I pushed it up to 10. That's, that's the pop side, or not pop side, that's the best songs, the best songs, the best songs of 2021. Then we have rock songs, which is Bite Me by Avril Lavigne, Mamma Mia by uh, Maniskin, or Mainskin, however you say that, my bad if, for pronunciation. Um, I Wanna Be Your Slave by Mainskin, so they have the number two and three slot. Grow by Avril Lavigne, so she's got number one and number four with Travis Baker. Uh, Follow Me Around, Radiohead, Wrecked, Imagine Dragons, um, The Writing on the Wall, Iron Maiden, uh, She Knows It, Maggie Lindemann, uh, Peacemaker, The Scorpions, Sober, Hungover, featuring uh, Arizona Zervas, uh, Sueco, Bruto, uh, excuse, excuse me, Brutal uh, by Olivia Rodrigo. Now, here's what I want to talk to you guys about. There are some elements in some of this stuff that are interesting, some cool grooves and, and you know, maybe a, almost an interesting melody here and there. I was surprised that Ghost didn't make it higher up the list in the rock stuff, but it is what it is. But I want to say that there are some missing elements too, and I want to talk to you guys about that. I want you guys to weigh in on this in the comments section because I think it'd be very enlightening. Now, the first thing is, is I get it when someone has some high energy music and they're working out, you know, and they want just something just to pump them up so they can get their workout done. It makes sense. It's just boom, 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 you know. I get it, cool, it's, it's a means to an end, it's, it, there's, it's got a purpose to it. But if all of these songs, for the most part, sound almost exactly the same with few exception, they have little or no staying power, there's almost no real melodic value, and you're gonna say, Ken, you're hating. I'm really not, stay with me for just a second. I, if, you, if I'm missing something, point it out. I mean, you know, yeah, I've been around a while, I mean, I've seen a lot of music come and go, and I've, I've, I've got 40 records, almost 50 records out myself now. Um, I've done, as you guys know, hundreds and hundreds of songs for film and television. So I, Grandpa's been doing this a long time, so I'm not, you know, divorced from this, and I like new stuff that's cool, okay? I really do. Let me give you an example of this. There's, there's, um, different people doing covers and they're doing them in unique ways and like, hey, so they're contributing something more to that song to make me want to hear it again, okay? But it's still a cover. It's not an original timeless piece, but at least they're contributing something new. And in this case, I want to talk about timelessness. Are these songs going to be around five years from now? I don't think so. Melodic value. Poetry, everything is sort of like a framework for selling sexuality. Constantly dropping, excuse me, dropping the F-bomb. Uh, you know, we, we can go on and on and on, but there's so little or no depth to it. Um, there's almost no musical integrity as far as the musicianship, composition, poetry, 
romance, like all the things that sort of make life cool. You know, it's kind of weird because it just, and in addition on the top pop songs, um, I think Adele is the only one that actually has real instruments. So like we're listening to like AI fast food that is kind of designed only for the moment with nothing, with no substance behind it. All right, so shut up, Ken, let's go ahead and do this. I'm gonna play, um, so here's the, the chorus is back to back, I'll make some comments along the way. Uh, this is Stay, Justin Bieber. Again, a lot of F-bomb dropping, so if you can get past that, because everybody's doing it. It's sort of like a prerequisite now to be cool, you gotta like um, curse and stuff. So, but anyway, here we go. I get drunk, wake up, I'm wasted still. I realize the time that I wasted I feel like you can't feel the way you Okay, so, I mean, I don't know, am I gonna hear that song? Like the Eagles Hotel California? Like, I don't think so, guys. Now again, if it's it's a, it's a driving thing, you're on your skateboard, you're, you know, you're surfing, you're doing whatever you do, um, you're working out, okay, kind of makes sense, you're doing homework, whatever that is, but let's move on. Okay, so here we go, that's um, that's number one. Number two, um, A, B, C, D, E, F, U, which is Gail, here we go. I swam into me in the best when it ended, even try to bite my tongue when you start shit. Now you texting all my friends, asking questions. They never even liked you in the first place. They did a girl that I hate for the attention. She only made it two days with a connection. It's like. Okay, is, you know, I mean, it was alright. I mean, it, I don't want to like say it was. There was nothing there, but not much, right? And everyone's kind of doing their You know, everyone's kind of like, that was like an intense Billie Eilish or something as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, all right, so let's check out Adele, easy on me. Check this out. So no wonder she owns the world with her music because I could hear that song 10 years from now and appreciate and go, wow, what an elegant, poetic, virtuosic, virtuoso, virtuosity, um, whatever that word would be three times fast. But no, I could, you know, I could really see that being timeless. Okay, there's poetry, there's musicianship, there's there's class to it. Um, so yeah, um, that's my first one. Cool, good job. All right. I love it when you do it like that and when you're cool. Now, Ed Sheeran, like, I love what Rick Beato said, what happened to Ed Sheeran, right? You know, yeah, but he's just in the game, right? So everybody's, and I've heard that same groove, and, and it's kind of interesting, like the verses are, they've got a cool, you know, phrasing pocket thing that's cool, and then rhythmically it's cool, but it just sounds like everything else out there. There's nothing, and, and there's no, for a guy that plays acoustic and stuff, like I never hear him play his guitar anymore, it's kind of weird. But anyway, all right, so Industry Baby, that was Shivers, Ed Sheeran, Industry Baby, here we go. You can get mad at me for saying this, but I swear, and I'm not a swearing man, that I think a 15 year old could come up with that melody better than this. Straight up. Go ahead and tell me I'm a jerk, I don't care. And then the whole song is like that. Like he never even goes anywhere with it. And this little last guy is like, you know, I got, he's got a little devil thing in his shoes he's trying to sell. I get all the demonic stuff he's trying to do. Anyway, just did nothing for me, straight up. I mean, it is what it is. And by the way, I'm not a ranter, guys. I don't go out and talk and smack about people, talking trash about it. It just is what it is. The, the truth is in the singing, performing, playing, artistry, musicianship, composition, you name it. It's just not there. But we're gonna talk about this more in a minute. Let's continue, here we go. Sometimes all I think about is you. Okay, that was heat waves. Now I want to go back a little bit because I just want to go. You know, everything's just boom, 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 boom. Everything's like this. It's weird. Sometimes all I think about is you. 
Same thing, it's just a little faster. Day nights in the middle of June. He always been faking me out. Can't make you happy on now. Now, heat waves been freaking me out. I mean, okay, it's like everyone's talking about texting and how I hate you and F you and this, that. But there's no depth to any of this stuff. There's no poetry. Did you guys ever like, did you ever read any T.S. Eliot or Shakespeare, anything? I don't think so, it's weird. And we're gonna talk even more about that in a second, but hang in there with me. Okay, this one was kinda cool. So it's kind of like a, a jazz loungy, you know, version of Rocket Man, and 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 he takes it a couple places. It's kind of funny. We were sitting in this restaurant uh, in Huatuco, Mexico, and they playing a bunch of these songs like this, and it's almost like there's a lot of this dance stuff where everyone's just taking these old songs. Now it's really melodic. It's an old Elton John song, but again, it, it's like been kind of dumbed down melodically, and it kind of stays in that little you know tunnel of of this sort of dance loungy jazz loungy, you know. L lounge lizardy kind of thing. All right, let's move on. Here we go. This is woman. Let me be a woman. So it's got like a calypso reggae beat. Woman, 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 woman. It's definitely not no woman, no cry. It's, you know, if you're going after something, listen to Bob Marley and do something cool. Anyway, I did say that, by the way. I don't mind it. I'm, I'm just spitting it out. I'm raw today, guys. And I don't care. I've got to speak the truth because like no one else has. Everyone's with the emperor's got no clothes. I'm saying I don't see any clothes on the emperor and everyone, ooh, that's so cool whoa did you hear what so-and-so did no I really didn't it's like mediocre but everything is so bad when something's a little bit melodic comes out everyone worships it that's why Adele's crushing the world and has for years and Harley has to make her record every 10 years because she's got no competition but anyway all right enemy and here we go oh the misery everybody wants to be my enemy I like the production of it. It sounds like Imagine Dragons, so at least when I hear it, I feel like, okay, I get it, it's Imagine Dragons. I feel like I heard that same song <laughs> from my very first song to this one. Nonetheless, it's them, cool, here we go. I hate you. <laughs> here we go, SCA. I've been up, baby, every reminiscing, every on the missing you, wish it was different than what it was. Now, in fairness, on that tune, there's almost no real melodic, memorable, timeless, I'll remember this, you know, melody later kind of thing, even though they repeat it over and over again. Um, you know, it's a lot like a lot of the R&B happened, you know, the Mariah Carey she kind of stuff that happened in the 80s, 90s, really 90s, you know, and so forth, the 2000s. So that, that's the, that's the, um, uh, the best, that's the best the best of 2021. I just did the top 10, there's 25 of them. I'm not gonna go through all of that. But anyway, I wanna bip over to the rock stuff now because I wanna make some important comments. I think they're important to me. Hang in there with me, guys. Just hang in there, I promise, man. You know what, like I said, no one's willing to wear their heart on the sleeve and I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just hanging out my laundry out there right now. But I got some comments I'd like to make about this and you're gonna get my point in a minute. <laughs> Now, you know, in fairness too, I guess Paramore could have done something like that maybe. I don't know, it's kind of a power pop punk thing. She drops the F-bomb in the first line, you know, as a lot of people do. Um, let's move on to Mamma Mia. Here we go. Main skin or main. They have two songs, so I'm gonna do the next one too. Did you know that I just went from one song to another? That wasn't the same song. Let me show you where it happens. Song number two. 
Now, it's a little catchy. It reminds like a, you know, kind of a glorified version of Ten Nation Army. It's kind of took like a, if you listen to the verses and stuff, it's a really broken down. Dum, do, 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 which also reminds me of the Ting Tings, you know, you, you know my name. Boom, da, boom, boom, ga, da, boom, ga, boom. You know, right? But anyway, so it's sort of, you know, Ten Nation Army revisited in a different kind of way. We heard two songs back about it. Did they sound the same or what? It was exactly the same, but it had a cool groove. I'm giving to them that, you know, groove in the sense that, you know, I could, I, I could find myself in it. I can't see it around 10 years from now, but I could see, all right, why people like it, right? Fair, I think it's a very fair. No offense to me, that reminds me like someone that's kind of like a bad Katy Perry rock pop punk version of, you know, almost almost a par Paramore, not quite a uh, power pop punk version. I liked her, I actually liked her earliest stuff in the 90s, early 90s I think it was. Um, you know, it wasn't bad, but then it's this, right? Okay, so that was Grow. Did you know it's like Grow, Grow, Grow? Now, think about this. So if I came to you right now and I said, hey man, I got this song, it's gonna be number four in the top rocks, rocks the top rock songs. I'm not talking about a rock song. I'm talking about top rock songs of 2021. And I said, Grow, Grow, Grow. Would you say, whoa, dude, whoa, that's a hit. No, you'd think I was nuts, but it's in the top four. Crazy. All right, next one, here we go. Follow me around. Radiohead. Radiohead, are you listening? Radiohead. Toot, toot. I'm talking to you. You guys wrote some great stuff. What the hell is this? It sounds like someone in their bedroom with lousy recording gear with a song that they're trying to present to the band and the band's kind of going, I don't know, maybe if we polish this turd, we might be able to get something out of it. And that's like number five, right? Really? Come on, are you kidding me? I feel like Bob Seger. Call me a reverie, call me what you will. Say I'm old fashioned, say I'm over there. Today's music ain't good, Jack. Beep. I like that old tech. Right. Anyway, for you old folks, you remember that. All right, let's move on. Imagine Dragons is in the rocks category two. Here we go. I mean, I get that the production was kind of cool. It's Magic Dragons, I get it, cool. All right, let's move on to one of my all-time favorite 80s metal bands, right? Late 70s, early 80s, eight through the 80s, 80s men. You ready for this? Check this out. So by the way, I'm a respecter of no persons. I'm an equal opportunity offender today. Check this out. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. That's Iron Maiden? It, it sounds like a freaking B-side of a bad Bon Jovi theme song soundtrack for a Western or something. That's Iron Maiden, Bruce. You're kidding me, buddy. Come on, really? You're like one of my all-time heroes from way, the whole band and the production. You went from like the ruling planet Earth to sounding like you've got ADATs in your bedroom. Do you guys know what an ADAT is, by the way? I have other old friends out there all know what I'm talking about. What the heck is going on here? Let's move on. She knows. She knows it. Excuse me. Maggie Lindemann. Here we go. I'm 
not sure, but I think she knows that she should be me in the bed. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong on that one. Uh, I, that's like a bad B-side of a Taylor Swift song gone punk or something. Anyway, let's move on. Here we go. Peacemaker, Scorpions. Here we go. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm not a swearing man, but that's shit. The Scorpions, you gotta be kidding me, right? You know what, I don't care, they can call me up tomorrow and tell me, you know, Tamplin, you should shut up and whatever. You got songs like Still Loving You, Love Drive, Rock You Like a Hurricane, Holiday, I mean, oh my God, so many songs, oh, Holiday, excuse me, uh, 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 Wind of Change. I mean, so many crazy great songs. And that's your best foot forward after however many years? And it sounds like that too from a fidelity standpoint? I don't know what the heck is going on here, but it sure ain't great, I can tell you that. So this isn't about Ken Tamplin just like in his old bands or whatever, no! I'm calling a spade a spade, it's just shit. It is what it is, here we go. Me a sober, and you're gonna, Ken, you're starting to depress me. No, actually, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that you're gonna stick with me for a minute because I wanna talk to you guys. I wanna talk to you guys about a little something, okay? So, anyway, sober, got it, hungover, featuring Arizona, uh, Zerva and Sueco, whatever. Let's get to the last tune, and then I wanna make a point. My point, my last point, I'm gonna make it right now. Here we go. here that's kind of funny I mean it was kind of like blondie meets what's that song I think it was from the 80s it was uh what was the name of it? It was, it was something like, uh, it would have been better if we slept together or something. I forget the name of the song. Help me out, you guys, whatever it is. But, you know, so, I mean, there, were, there was some swag to it. And it's kind of funny, you know, and, and it's, it's depressing. But it's like, you know, it's, it's like that kind of a tune. Okay, so why did I do this? I did this because that was the top t uh, 10 rock songs of 2021. And I'm surprised that, uh, what's his name, um, the guy that stole the, the, the radio uh, DJ's name, um, Kelly, uh, Machine Gun Kelly. Yeah, I'm surprised he wasn't there. I'm surprised Ghost wasn't in the top 10. Ghost is some interesting stuff. I'll, get, I'll give Ghost, you know, at least they're, they're new, they're fresh, they're innovative, they've got some kind of clean stuff, they're working out some kind of darker, you know, melodic stuff that's interesting. But, I, but I'm gonna do this real quick, check this out. I'm gonna quickly wrap off some pop songs. Now, you can say, Ken, you know, you're just not with the times. No, I just don't think that AI fast food garbage like this is really that great. I'm just gonna say it for what it is. It's not, here's 1970s. I'm gonna go through, these are the top five of the 70s, of uh, 71, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just gonna blast through a few of them. I want you back, the Jackson Five. Let it be, the Beatles. Bridge over troubled waters. Um, make it with you, bread. Me and Bobby McGee, brown sugar rolling stones. You got a friend, James Taylor. How can you mend a broken heart, the Bee Gees. Maggie May, American Pie. Um, uh, Lean on me, Bill Withers. Brandy, I can see clearly now. Um, Superstition, uh, Stevie Wonder, Killing Me Softly. Don't let the sun go down on me. You're the sunshine of my life. You know, I, Top of the World Carpenters, The Way We Were, Barbara Streisand. Sunshine on my shoulders. And by the way, if you guys don't know these tunes, and you don't even have to like them, it's just that they've lasted 50 years. There's poetry, there's melodic value, there's musicianship, there's fidelity, there's, you know, it's just endless awesomeness. Benny and the Jets, You're No Good, um, Linda Rothstead, uh, the, the, uh, the Best of My Love, The Eagles, Shining Star, Earth, Wind and Fire, Jive Talking, Bee Gees, Fame, David Bowie, you know, I could just go on, on. So that's, that's the 70s, I mean, I just got a list. All I did was grab the top five of each decade and everyone. I mean, in fact, do it yourself and go to each decade and go, all right, top songs of 1970, 1971, 72, 70, then go to the 80s, then go to the 90s, you're gonna go, gosh, I could get through 50 songs, 50 songs, and I didn't even make it to the bottom of greatness of like things that have lasted for 30, 40, 50 years, right? Let's move on, all right? I'm gonna do, um, 
The rock songs, those are the pop songs of the 70s. Rock songs, All Right Now Free, American Girl, Tom Petty, American Woman, Guess Who, Another Brick in the Wall, uh, Pink Floyd, Stairway to Heaven, Led Zeppelin, Bang a Gong, Band on the Run, Barracuda Heart, um, Beast of Burden, um, Rock and Roll All Night by Kiss, Black Dog, Led Zeppelin, Black Magic Woman, Bohemian Rhapsody. Dude, I could just go through Dream On Aerosmith. I mean, I can hardly... You know, put my finger here. Evil Woman, Electric Light Orchestra. Put my finger here again. Boston, More Than a Feeling. I'm blindly up over here. ACDC, I would help. I mean, I'm just like, whoa, you've got to be kidding me, right? So you've got all of these crazy songs. And then you've got these songs from, I don't know what I did in my other list here. But there's another list where if you go through the songs of, you know, the, the, the 80s and the 90s, and you're just going to go, Oh my gosh, I didn't want to make this video too long, but you're going to go, oh, you really got me now, Van Halen. You're going to, you're going to go through all of the Bon Jovi's and you're going to go through Journey and you're going to go through, you know, all of these incredible acts and you're going to get to the, to the 90s. You're going to go, okay, there was Pearl Jam and, you know, there was Nirvana and there was, and these, I'm a rock guy, so I'm listening to rock stuff. Of course, Mariah Carey kind of came through the ranks and, and Whitney Houston, I will always love you and, you know, all of these, wow, wow. And we're juxtaposing that to this. You're kidding me. Let me know your thoughts and comments, guys. I know I got a little out, you know, over the top today, but I just had to express my feeling on some of this stuff or I'm just going to explode because at Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy, we pride ourselves in greatness for singing, hopefully composition, you know, c competing with some of the greatest songs that have ever written, been, been performed, etc. And I'll tell you what, that bar ain't too high. So no wonder you get out your auto tune, you get out your crappy recording device, you use samples, you don't even have to learn an instrument and you too can be a pop star straight up. I mean, why not, right? And by the way, when you go to make your video, it doesn't matter what you look like. You could be 450 pounds, you could be 10 pounds, but just use a little Photoshop, some more AI for your videos, AI for your music. Let the computer do everything for you. Why not? Let it do your thinking for you. Why not? You're let, we're letting the media do that for us anyway. Anyway, thank you for joining me. Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy, where the truth is in the singing. Till next time, peace out. I'm gonna sing.